Hi, my name is Andrea and welcome to Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is about all things foodie related. We'd love for you to join our YouTube family by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Today I'm participating in a fall desserts collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube, Tashonda Renee. She does a little bit of everything on her channel from day in the life, product unboxings, hauls, and she has some amazing recipes. So after you watch my video, please go and check out her video. I know she'll be baking up something delicious and I'll make sure to leave a link to her channel in the description box. Today I'm sharing a recipe for cinnamon roll cake. It's perfect for fall and it's delicious at breakfast or any time of the day. What's really unique about this recipe is that it has these yummy pockets of goodness in the cake that taste just like the center of a cinnamon roll. So for the cake portion of the cake, you're going to need cake flour, which is different from all-purpose flour. This is gonna give you a really nice, fine crumb. You're also going to need some whole milk and it's at room temperature. You're going to need vanilla, a couple of eggs at room temperature, melted butter, sugar, and you're going to need baking powder and salt. For the cinnamon roll filling portion, you're going to need regular all-purpose flour, packed brown sugar, cinnamon, and softened butter. And then for the icing portion of the cake, you're going to need powdered sugar, vanilla, and then I'm gonna thin it out with milk that I'll pull out of the refrigerator when it gets closer to time. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to start by adding in my cake flour and my baking powder and salt. Just gonna stir this just a little bit. Going to add in my sugar. And by the way, if I didn't mention it, I will make sure to leave the recipe, of course, in the description box so you guys will have all of the measurements. Now I'm going to add in my melted butter, my vanilla, my eggs, and my milk. Gonna add the milk a little at a time, use my hand mixer, and then add a little more. Okay, so here is the batter, and I am going to pour my batter into a nine by 13 pan that I have sprayed with Baker's Joy, which is basically a cooking spray that has flour in it as well. So I'm just gonna pour it in. And I'm just gonna set this to the side while I make the cinnamon roll filling. Okay, so in my bowl, I have my softened unsalted butter I'm going to add in some cinnamon, some regular all-purpose flour, and my brown sugar. And I'm just gonna get in there and stir it up. Okay, and so here is what it looks like. So I'm gonna grab my cake batter and I am just going to dollop this brown sugar mixture all over the cake batter, and then I'm gonna use a knife to swirl it in. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna drop it in. Your hands are gonna get a little messy. That's okay. Baking can be messy. So now I'm just gonna take my knife and swirl that goodness all around. All right, so I think I mentioned I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake this cake for about 27 to 30 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, so I just took the cake out of the oven. I ended up baking this for about 37 minutes. 
and you can see it's a nice and golden brown on the edges and it's got some pockets of goodness all throughout. So while this cools down, I am going to work on the icing. Okay, so I've got my powdered sugar in here. I'm gonna add some vanilla. And I'm gonna add in milk. And you're just gonna add in a little bit at a time until you get the consistency that you're looking for. All right, so here's the consistency that I'm looking for. And if you mess up and you accidentally add um, too much milk, you can always just go back in and add just a little bit more powdered sugar. As you can see, my icing is a little brown and that's because of course the vanilla is brown. If you want your icing to be white, if you have a clear vanilla, that would work perfectly. So I'm gonna let the cake cool down for just a little bit more. I don't want it to be completely cold more warm on the warm side. And then I am just going to drizzle this glaze all over the cake. Okay, so here is the cake. It has been cooling for a couple of hours now. I cut out a slice, so let me show you the inside of the cake first. And you can see how all that sugar and brown sugar kind of went into the cake. You can see the crevices, it is so tasty. So let me show you the piece on my plate here. And there it is, close up of it. Very delicate crumb, really nice cinnamon taste. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Also, don't forget to go check out Tashonda Renee's video as well. I will leave a link to her channel in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.